It's a new season for IX, it's a new season for the Johan Cruyff Arena, and it's a new season for Edwin van der Sar. Over the past couple of years, IX has gotten tons of questions from fans asking, what is it like behind the scenes at the IX offices? I actually don't know myself. It's my first day, so I'm brand new. So today I've got a tour with the big boss, the CEO, Edwin van der Sar. I'm excited. If you are too, don't forget to hit like and subscribe to this video. Let's go guys, let's get inside. Hey guys, welcome to Edwin's office. This should be it. Hi there, good morning. This should be it. There is the new boss. Edwin. David, my friend. How are you? I'm you okay? good. Don't know how we do this uh, now. I think we do yeah, elbows. A small, a small one. I was really looking forward to the handshake. I heard back in the day you used to give the squeeze to opponents. Uh, get them a little bit that, nervous. Yeah, that gave always a little bit more empowerment, my height. I'd be intimidated. You will be intimidated. Yeah. Okay. Let's talk about the height. Do you guys have us in frame? Are we good here? We're good. We're good. Perfect. So, how are you? I'm good. Yeah. Welcome, welcome at the club. Thank you. I Thank you. This new addition. Yeah, that's it. That's it. But uh, no, yeah, yeah, straight away in the main office. So yeah, this is the main office, huh? So this is foot. This is football. This is history. Yeah, this is it, huh? It's myself, the old stadium. Right. And so this behind you is, of course, the famous. This the is famous the. Game. The jersey is is not a pretty one. Yeah. It's a uh, it's a historic one. Okay, so that is a bit of history, and this is after winning. So this, this is a celebration. Uh, I don't remember a lot from it because uh, <laughs> we've been drinking a little bit. I didn't sleep at all and uh, we came back in Amsterdam. We uh, went to the museum, uh, museum square. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> I think 150,000 people and after that we uh, had a little canal, a canal tour. Okay, well today, since it is one of my first days, I would like a tour around the stadium. You would like a tour? Yeah, you think, yeah. You think every, every employee get a tour from me or something <laughs> through the stadium or what? I don't think so, I don't think so. I just came you, and barged but in. You, you really want one? Yeah, yeah, I would really like a tour. And uh, throughout, I'll be asking you some of the questions from fans. I sent them in through, uh, through no. social media. Let's Sounds go. good to you? Yeah, okay, let's Wait, go. Before we go, I have a fan question already. Uh, they want to know, what is your favorite thing about being CEO thus far? All the shit you can solve. <laughs> no, I've been here as a player, had success as a player, and I would love to have success as a director. And yeah, hopefully that yeah that European level. That's that's why we're working hard for. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Well, I'm here. I hope uh, I hope I get to see that. Of course. Ah, follow me then. So who else uh, is here with you up here? Oh, my, of course, my fellow directors. So yeah. uh, of course, yeah, Mark Overmars is. Uh, his room, so all the transfers and the scouting and the players are decided, of course. This is it, where the magic happens, basically. Uh, the magic happens on the pitch, of course. Oh, fair and enough. So that's, fair that's enough. An, an idea what happens on the pitch. And because of Mark, we need also a financial director, of course. So Suzanne, <laughs> uh, uh, we have to pay also for transfers. That's right. And uh, Menno Gela, our commercial director. That's Menno's, Menno's office. And of course, we need lovely girls also to be in the <laughs> office to help us. Here we go, Ingeborg. <laughs> Show you the presentation room. This is it. This is where the signings. Uh... These are where the signings are made. All well, the big, uh, all the big guys come in. Yeah. And now you are in. I'm in here. The, the shirt, the shirt is there for the presentation. Right, right. So normally we we'll, we we'll hold it up like this. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, to be fair, we have one with your name on it. So and then normally we're smile at the camera. Yeah. Hold, hold it, it up. up. Smile. Mama, I've made it. Yeah, well, obviously, I have another fan question for you. Okay. When did you realize that you didn't want to become a trainer in football, but instead uh, work in a different function in football? I got a call from uh, for Johan Cruyff. Yeah. He uh, I was still playing for United. He said, like, listen, I want to uh, uh, change Ajax a little bit. I want to have more ex-players uh, also in the board. Uh, so I, I thought about it. I, I, I studied for a year, did a master program. And uh, I, you know what, uh, let's try it. I've noticed that you're so calm when, when he called you. Were you calm when, when he told you this, or what did you think? Of course, it's still Johan Cruyff who was on yeah. the phone, but uh, we, we met, met each other before and we're almost at the same level, of course, as, yeah. uh, as players. 
yeah. and world class. So I got it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> just, just checking out. But uh, no, it's uh, actually he was, uh, he's a nice guy, and um, yeah, I learned a lot in the in the, in the times that I spoke uh, spoke with him. And uh, yeah, unfortunately, he went uh, he went too early. Right. Yeah, I understand. Okay. Well, I want to see some more of the yeah. offices. Here we go. Let's go. Can you tell us a bit more about the expansion of the Tukoms? Yeah. And also the arena? Yeah, of course. I think the arena is, we have 55,000 people now in, a, in normal times, could, could we would have them. Yeah. Uh, the Tukoms, we are planning to, to expand it, to renew it. I think we want to be uh, the best youth academy in the world. Right. So also the, at the moment, the accommodations are a little bit outdated. We hope to make also build a small stadium for the nice. for the for the uh, for the young team, yep. for the women, for the women's team, and also for the under 19. So there going to be three, four thousand spectators. Pretty good, yeah. And hopefully we can also uh, we're gonna put the, all all our offices and put them uh, at the football side. Right. So that the whole club is uh, is one. Okay, so what offices are uh, here? This is uh, Human Resources. Okay. Uh, this is Marketing. Marketing. So you, you started as Director of Marketing here, of course. Yeah, that's the first title they gave me. Yeah. Mainly focus on the commercial side. Normally have yeah, the, the, all the, uh, the chairs are filled. But all right, because of yeah. COVID, of course, everybody's working at home. This is fan care, where uh, fans or people are want to have some information, they call and they, uh, they get information from, uh, from the club. Okay, speaking of questions, I actually took a look at your Instagram and VDSAR shirts. The concept is basically you're at home wearing kits from throughout your career, right? Yeah, actually, yeah, because everybody will need, yeah, needed to work at home and uh, I was at my parents' house and didn't really thought of it. I, I pulled 10, 12 shirts out of the, the collection. My wife or my son made a picture. It's a great concept. I mean, you've heard of Casual Friday. Ever. Have you thought about Kids Out Friday at the office here at Ajax? Kids out Friday. Yeah, uh, it's, a, it's a good one. Maybe, uh, maybe do something with it. This is next part. Okay. And I believe this is where media is. So I presume you have a key card. Yes, yes, I have access now. There you go. Thank you. All right. So, uh, what offices do we have here? Do we have uh, a kitchen? <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, the foundation. Travel, travel events. Right. So all the. Good, uh, the good causes we're working with. Uh, we have some edit sets for uh, for media, so I'm sure you're gonna be uh, be around here. This one also. Well, how important is media for you? To, how important is it to the club? Yeah, I think it's it's huge. People want to see the footballers in different you know, different environments. Right. So, uh, it's always. Uh, the case, how far do you go? How, how, how many access do you give? Yeah. Yeah, of course, uh, the media guys want, want more. Want everything. Probably yeah. the fans want more. Yeah. Uh, a coach and the players want to also have some uh, some privacy themselves. And that way, it's, uh, it's always a nice equilibrium to find right. access between. Is the privacy. team happy? Is the coach happy? Right. Yeah. Okay. So here, we have you on the screen here. I see. You. That's a long time ago. Here we go. What a moment this is. Oh, here we go. You, they put them all behind each other. Yeah. Oh, and a save. Here we go. Saves. Oh, penalty take. Like. Here we go. <laughs> I know Richard Witzke did that once. Uh. Winning the league, yeah, that feeling, celebrating with your teammates the Jaren Liedman. Never would have thought to have such a big career that, yeah. that, that, that I experienced. And uh, that's why winning so many trophies and, and yeah, it's still, un still unreal to be fair. Okay. Well, this is our, uh, our gallery of fame. This is it. We're coming here at 95 final uh, that I played, so against uh, against Milan. Okay, so you've won the Champions League twice as a player. Yes. What are the emotions like losing the Champions League again? Yeah. Undescribable. The biggest thing that uh, that you can win is an awkward one. It's it's difficult to lift. Yeah. It's 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 hard, maybe especially for a small guy like you. <laughs> but it's it's an amazing feeling. I understand. Cool. Cool. Yeah, of course, we have some shirts uh, right. from down the years. But yeah, one of the most icon iconic ones is, of course, the, the number 14. Yeah. The one that Johan wore. How important is his legacy for the club? Yeah, his legacy is huge, of course. What he, what he did as a player, uh, the success that he brought, and uh, Barry Hulshoff, Johan Neeskens, and other players in the 70s. Uh, then as a manager, as a coach, he came back, won the European trophy also, and went to Barcelona, did, mm. did the same. 
So it's, it's legacies everywhere. So right. th yeah, these are the trophies. Yeah. And, uh, but yeah, the question is, do you know when we won the first one? I've been doing a bit of research. I'm going 1971. 71 is good. They won, yeah. three, won three in a row. Yeah. Of course, yeah, you see we're, we have four yeah. in Champions League. We're missing one. So yeah, I got where a, is it? I got a small surprise for you. Yeah? I got a small surprise. Come on. Okay. It's a little bit heavy. But this is a trophy that I won. So on your second day at work, you can lift the trophy. This is insane. Ooh. Now I've really made it. Earlier, the jersey, nah, this is it. It's heavy, you're right. It's heavy, yeah? Yeah. It's awkward also. How do you how do you lift it? How yeah. Because the, the, the thing is, you have to keep it good above your head, yeah. above your head, otherwise your face is in the in the, is in the is in the shadow. Or I you think put it there. What Cristiano does this one. <laughs> oh, that's all right. Amazing. That was one of the best feelings I've ever had in my entire life. Hands down, hands down. Well, I'm gonna give you back your trophy here. Oh, they didn't drop it. First day, don't drop the trophy. Wil je snel een foto? Kom, hou me samen met papa vast. Can I get in the photo? Amazing. Top photo, that top photo. Thank you. I think there was a magical feeling, but yeah. I think we have one, one more. Let's so, do it. Let's go. It. This is it. How the players are entering the pitch. Amazing. The stadium, yeah, it opens up. It's amazing. Yeah. I, I always love walking out. That, that feeling when you're walking out of the tunnel, even though I'm not a player, it feels like it, you know? What do you mean you're not a player? You just, <laughs> got, you, you just got a shirt. <laughs> lucky, you, lucky you left it. But. Yeah, yeah, true. All right, so. Yeah, this, this is our stadium, yeah, the Johan Cruyff Arena, 55,000 people. Incredible. Since we are by the pitch, I have another fan question for you. Who's responsible for the pitch and the turf looking so good? Uh, where are they? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, did, I do this in the evenings. Yeah, he caught it, yeah, yeah, right. In the so like, uh, I put some stuff on it and, and drive a little on, on one of those uh, motorized things. Okay, yeah. Now, of course, you have a specialized company yeah. uh, who, who's, who's taking care of the, the grass. Right, now, normally I'm not allowed on the pitch, but today I'm with the big boss, so are we going to go on the pitch? No. no yeah. I mean, you're normally not allowed. It. Why you're normally not allowed? Why, you, why should be allowed now? Just because you're like Look, I thought I'd try it. I thought it was my one chance to get on the pitch, so I tried it. Yeah. Right. You want to go on? I really want to go on. Okay. Do you have any things that you need to do no, before no. you come on the pitch now? <laughs> nothing. Nothing. Okay. Oh, this is amazing. This. This is. You, you feel it? I can feel it. You feel it? I feel this bit of magic creeping into yeah. my legs, like. Honestly, now my knees are starting to shake. This is the first time today that my knees are like... Really, I, was it not when you met me? Well, that, uh, that was okay. This, <laughs> this is it, I have to say. <laughs> this is it. No, but this is incredible. I can really get the feeling of a player. Like, guys, one time, you have to get on the pitch. Whatever you do in life, don't streak. Incredible. So where do you sit in this beautiful place? Uh, I sit up there. So if you want, uh, yeah, it used to be one of those those goals. Uh, right. or they're not there, but yeah, uh, yeah. I'm sitting <laughs> up there. So okay, let's Coming go. Up. Let's see it. There you go. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. All right. One on the top. One six four. One six four is your that's, seat. Huh? That's my seat. I'm not gonna touch that one. I would say so. Now you touch my Champions League. You touch the. Yeah. You, you've been on the pitch, so. <laughs> Well, you might as well take my chair straight away. Uh, I've done it all today, but no, I can't do your job, that's for sure. <laughs> okay, what a view. What a view. To be fair, I've missed this. Yeah. I was going to ask, it's been five months. Yeah. How's it been? Have you missed it? Yeah, uh, extremely, of course. Uh, when the Dutch, uh, Dutch government uh, yeah, stopped the league uh, because of the crisis, I can't believe it's already five months, no yeah. games, no, no fans. Yeah. Uh, that's hard. It's hard for a club. Coronavirus is still here. Absolutely. The season is coming back. Will it be a bit strange? Yeah, the strange thing, of course, yeah, the players. The players are already in training. They're doing a lot of a lot of stuff in the drills. But yeah, the stadium. You play football for the fans. Yeah. The fans are the most important thing in the club. Of course. Well, 
I'm really happy with my tour today. Yeah, really? Yeah, yeah, I've seen it all. Compliment for the tour, they give me a little, a little yeah, like yeah, on, on Facebook and everything. I'm going on TripAdvisor, okay. everything, and just giving okay. you a little Google reviews. Cool. 10 out of 10. Perfect. Thank you, Thank you, Edwin. I wish you all the best for the coming season, all right? Thank you, eh? You're welcome. Best of luck for this season. Thank you very much. Guys, this was an amazing tour. I hope you got a great uh, behind the scenes access of the IX offices. Uh, for now, we'll see you later. David the Host saying, Deuces.